boy. Come on, let's go. To start with, Gary Blaine wasn't just an ordinary little boy. For one thing, he'd been born with an almost mystic touch with animals. And for another, he had Tim. And Tim was about the best friend a little boy ever had. Go get it, Tim. this time. Whatever it was, it sounded like it had stirred up all 400 of the main. Can we go inside, Dad? Tim's got him scared to death. Sit down, Tim. figured he must have heard that question a million times. And for some reason, he always ended up saying yes. He didn't know quite why, but he just could never seem to turn the boy down. Let's see that foot now. Is it bad? Just a little cut here. Looks like we'll have to keep him for a while. Tim couldn't understand why they'd locked him out. Pets had never caused him any trouble before. And he and Gary had collected them by the dozen from snakes and frogs to turtles and grasshoppers and mice. But it looked like the otter was different. They were adopting him into the family. Tim didn't like that a bit. And he wasn't going to keep quiet about it either. Now, let's see if we can keep a bandage on you. On. He'll get well quicker. The otter had been badly frightened, but the gentle hands and the soothing voices were reassuring. He decided to relax and enjoy it. There. You think you can walk on it? That was a pretty good question. He'd need some time to work out an answer. Thank <laughs> you. 